Are you a little Good sad? Because you're a Lions fan, uh, yes. kind of a little bit, that you have to wait the entire weekend well, to I have watch to wait them? the entire weekend, and then I'm not going to be able to watch anyway because it's Monday Cause night. you're here, right? But it's the early game because on opening weekend, there are always two Monday night games. Oh, so what time is that game at? Um, if it's like 7? Yeah, maybe like 7 or 7.30 you'll get to see a little bit of it. Yeah, I can see a little bit of it then. Yeah, I think 6.30 is when they start everything. Doesn't normal the, Monday night football start like 9? Yes, yes. Yeah, I so, never see it. So for opening weekend, there's a doubleheader. Okay. So then you're all set. So who else is playing? Uh, man, one of the West Anybody Coast we teams. About? It's always San Diego. So okay. I don't know if they are again, but it always seems to be that that's hmm. what's going on. I don't even know who the Lions are playing. I don't know anything about the, the Giants. Open. Giants. Leave it Thank to Brian. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> Brian knows. Lions fan Brian over there says, yeah, I know what's going on. Yeah. Can I have some breaking news, by the way, please? Um, yes, you may. Okay, because I'm going to break some news. All right. Uh, as you know, Connie, I am a, a subscriber to the magazine Sports Illustrated, the magazine. I do. Yeah. And uh, a couple weeks ago, we're all in here. We're talking Lions. And we said, hey, how many games do you think the Lions are going to win? And uh, I think Amanda said, hey, they're going to win every game. And uh, Amanda said 12. Okay. You said six. I said nine. Intern Nick said four. Other Curtis said more than ten. Okay, Other Curtis is a guy who listens to us and called in. Can Wendy I, and Josh did not weigh in yet. They've yet to weigh in. They still have time. They're uh, like, who are the Lions? So Sports <laughs> Illustrated Magazine, the magazine, uh, Peter King writes for them. Yeah. Six and ten. Lions. Really? Booyah! I am on pace. Now, uh, fam- on pace. famously, uh, he's horrible at making predictions. <laughs> <laughs> so, and so are you. And so am I. You guys so, could be besties. So who knows what's going to happen, but we both came in at six wins right there. Brian, what do you say? 11 and 5. 11, I'm going to write Brian. that down. Okay, we can do that. 11 and 5. Get over there. Write down your 11. Okay, you need a pen. <laughs> 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 kind of just walked all the way over. And then did not quite make it before she realized she didn't have a pen. Now she's writing it, B-R-I-A-N, and a little dash, and then a one, and then another one. We're keeping track. And you went with the entire record, even though it's a uh, a chart of wins for the care. season. I want to remember what he said. So either 11 or 5. <laughs> We're not sure. 11 and 5. So good luck uh, to that. So that puts you on pace with Amanda and with other Curtis, our listener. I like it. That's going to be a tough one. Hmm. A tough one. That'd be great. 11 and 5 works for me. <laughs> okay. And what did you say, Connie? 10. So you said nine. 10. 9. I said 9. So you said 9. You're right around there yeah. then to your winning season. Yeah. So so who knows? So yeah, they play Monday. It'll be like 70 something. Hmm. Packers, my team, they play tomorrow. I know. They, and that's a late game too, they right? They like to open up with like the the good team. <laughs> <laughs> so they'll let them they'll let them play some football. And then, uh, and then Sunday all day, awesome. And Packers play Seattle tomorrow. Seattle tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah that is like you won't see any of that no, game probably. I won't. Oh, I gotta tell you this though. When I went to bed last night, yeah, what time was it? Eight fifteen or something? Eight <laughs> fifteen. <laughs> My bedroom was dark. Pitch black. I could not believe how dark my bedroom was. Oh, no. Because what? We bought this house like two months ago or so. Yeah, you've never been there Never in seen the, dark, the bedroom dark during the week. I mean, unless I wake up to pee in the middle of the night. But right. going to bed, but never seen it then dark. Then you have your sleep mask on, so no, it's I dark all the I can't use those because the they squeeze my eyeballs. They're too tight, like, on the, too tight on the giant head. And my head. giant head. You do have a very I hate head. them. We, we tried measuring Connie's head once, but we couldn't find anything <laughs> to go around it. So we don't know. We don't have a final uh, tally on, on how big it was. <laughs> I know, but it was so dark. I would like little did a little dance all the way to bed. Do, 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 do. Well, hopefully you didn't run into anything. No, I did not. No I had to just feel around for the remote so I could turn that on so I could Where's see something. Where's the remote? It was great. Dan! So it must have been really dark when you went to bed then, huh? Uh, it was so dark. You yeah. don't ever go to bed at 8. Well, 8 o'clock seems a little... My daughter, uh, one of them wasn't even home at 8. <laughs> she was still... Haley had the worst day yesterday. Oh, no! So, uh, no, she had a great day. Okay. But Tuesdays are going to be rough for her. I for, had forgotten it was Tuesday yesterday when we were talking all about it. Right. Because you're like, what time does Haley get home? And I said, 2.30. Mm-hmm. No, on Tuesdays, Haley gets home from school at 
8.30 p.m. Oh. Booyah! What? Does she have soccer practice? Soccer. So she had uh, school. Yep. And then cheerleading. Yep. And then soccer. We didn't see her until 8.30. Oh, my goodness. Booyah! Wow. Was she dead? <laughs> she didn't seem to be. No. She will be, though, today, I'm sure. Because uh. I woke up. I was like, whew, I'm tired this morning. I'm thinking, but I'm not as tired as Haley's going to be. The second day is always the hardest day. Haley's going to be just bushed. <sighs> But she doesn't have to do that again today. I was going through my news feed this morning, and I couldn't believe how many people said their kids were just, had a horrible day, first day of school what? yesterday. Yeah. What does they, that mean? They didn't know why. How do you <laughs> they have like, a, they're just exhausted. I'll tell you why. All the 6th, 7th, and 8th graders seem to be a little uh, little pissy this morning I'll or tell yesterday you, when I'll they tell home. you why. Why? Because they didn't make them go to bed on time for a week leading Maybe. up to it like we did. Mm-hmm. They were the fun mom and dad. Like, go ahead and run around till 1030. Like in our neighborhood, there are kids all over the place. Last night we called them in, 8 o'clock. All right, bedtime. And they're like, ah, everyone's still playing. It's like, and everyone's going to be horrible on the bus tomorrow, except for you guys. Uh-huh. Get in there, uh-huh. little tyke. Have a good one. Did they fall asleep right away? Right away. They're exhausted. Right away. They're exhausted. <laughs> yeah, that's why. You got to get these kids on a schedule. You can't You just... need to be on a schedule. <laughs> I do need a schedule. Yeah. <laughs> You, talk, you always brag about how your kids are on a schedule. Why, you need one. Why do I need a schedule? Because you're cranky half the week when you come in. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's because of you. You no. get set me off on the wrong no, foot. No, it's because you don't get enough sleep. No, I try coming in all happy and nice, and then you're like, what are you looking at? I'm like, oh, my goodness, and then I'm <laughs> gone. Have I ever said that, Amanda? No, you've ha! never said that. You've always been more ha! than pleasant. You're always like, good her. morning, Curtis. Ha! Good morning, air partner. That's You've never said that one time. I, I just that. heard her say it to you this morning. Ah! <laughs> Oh. In your face. <laughs> in my face. No, it was a late night last night for me. Because, Why? What happened last night? Well, because they had that uh, stupid making a Frozen on on uh, ABC. So it was like, hey, behind the scenes. And Josh Gad, who is uh, Making a Frozen what? Making a Frozen. Making of Frozen. Like the movie. Oh, I thought you said making a Frozen. Yeah, you know, they're making a Frozen. <laughs> so they're there. I don't know how to conjugate verbs or tenses at all. I don't know any they're of that making stuff. making a Frozen. So they're making a Frozen. And uh, and it's there. Uh, and then my show, uh, Extreme Weight Loss, wait, uh, the year started an hour late. You had to watch the making of Frozen? No, I did oh, not. Okay. That show was garbage to me. <laughs> but the show that I normally watch was on an hour later. Oh. So then I had to watch that until 11. Because I was watching this guy, and he totally broke down the, the barriers that were keeping him fat. And ba-boom, well, now good he's for thin. him. Yeah. That is a motivating show. I'll tell you what. You watch that. <laughs> Do you, like, watch it on a treadmill? No, I watch it eating, which Do is you? ridiculous. <laughs> yes, I've, I got a bag of Fritos. I'm like, well, this guy's losing a lot of weight. Oh, man, but Fritos are so good. Fritos are the they best. They are really good. We got those scoops, because we need to scoop cheese now, because it's fall. <laughs> so I got Fritos scoops. I have I, two bags of scoops <laughs> in my pantry right now. And I right have now. cheese. I have a little cheese dip, that I'm scooping and just watching Extreme Weight Loss, the, the challenge. What kind of cheese were you scooping? Just the uh, the like kind the Tostitos one? Yes, and you take mm. the top off, and it's like, mm, I love this. Mm. This is so good. Katie must have been really hungry yesterday when she was grocery <laughs> shopping because she came home with so many prepackaged dips and like cheeses, mm-hmm. and then we ate like uh, three quarters of them yesterday. Uh, that's supposed to last a week. Well, that's because it's it feels like fall, right? Well, and she was ready for football. She's like, on Saturday yeah. and Sunday, we'll want to be eating these. No, we ate them yesterday. Well, that's what Dan said uh, yesterday. We were talking about it. He's like, "Do you want to do a bunch of crockpot dips on Thursday night?" I'm like, "I'm <laughs> yes. not even gonna be able to watch the game. Yeah. Why am I gonna make a whole bunch of food?" No, you are. You are going to watch just the him. Game. So he's going to sit there yes. with three crock pots in front of him? Yes, he is. Mm. I had it all planned out to do burgers on Thursday, mm-hmm. and we're going to have like a, a little tailgate party and super fun. And then Katie, uh, shopping, left the burgers out because she thought they were for last night. Oh. So we had to have burgers last night, oh. which isn't that bad because burgers no, are delicious. burgers are wonderful. <laughs> yeah. So I got to grill out and burgered up and woo, yeah. let's do this. We High grilled five. out yesterday too. Grilling out is the best in fall. It is. <laughs> <laughs> we still technically have like three more weeks yeah, of summer now. Technically, schmectically. <laughs> Seriously, it's fall it's now. It's felt like fall for a month. Football starts tomorrow. It is football time. We are all set. Yay. Well, football even started last Saturday. Yeah, it did. Totally, I watched like Dan's 20- been watching for three weeks. Exactly. You can't get enough of football. Of preseason when Bring nobody it. you even like is playing in the game. No, but you got to know that for fantasy. He doesn't have a fantasy league. Oh, he then I don't know. That. He just likes the game. Then. He, he truly. And it was funny because uh, last week when we were on vacation, yeah. his mom lives in uh, La Crosse, Wisconsin. Okay. So we went up there and his sister lives there and blah, blah, blah. So we were hanging out with family. 
and she had football on 24-7, too. I was like, it's where you got it. This explains a few things. <laughs> My mom also watches football uh-huh. all the time. She doesn't care what game it is. No. Like me, I like the teams that I like. Yep. I like the Lions. I like the Packers. Mm, some other big games I like. Okay. But I watch a lot more than that, and I like college. Right. You know? But I don't like every single football game that comes on television. Right. Where they do. My mom has every baseball game on, every football game on. You go to her house, and that's all that's on is just mm-hmm. sports. And the kids are like, we're putting the Disney Channel on. She's like, okay, but you know what? we got to go back and check the score. Uh-huh. <laughs> she doesn't realize that her phone has all the scores. Oh, right. So she has to like still go back. And, She's and so cute. Check. Can we check the score on that game? It's like, She's yeah. She's cute. Just yell it in your phone. <laughs> Tigers. Amanda, is there any football team you like? You don't ever weigh into these conversations. No, I mean, I watch... Like the Green Bay Packers when Mike has it on. That's the Green Bay Packers. The Green Bay Packers. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed the, to those. I'm more. I'm. I watch more the Detroit Lions. Of a baseball girl, the Milwaukee Brewers. Okay. I, I cheer for the Milwaukee Brewers. Well, I'm I don't a, know. I'm like, a town and name team yes. name kind of person. The Milwaukee I'm Wisconsin I, Brewers. Yes. yes. <laughs> Wisconsin. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, we got uh, West Michigan Whitecaps uh, tickets that we're going to be giving away today because the playoffs start tonight for them. Yeah, Mickey's going to be in uh, at 9.15 this morning. I so. mean, that's the nice thing about football is that's when you start gearing up for the playoffs in baseball. Mm-hmm. Tigers, they probably still won't make it. The Milwaukee Brewers that you're talking about, they lost like their uh, 15th game in a row yeah, yesterday. Yeah, they're blowing it right oh, now. They're they blowing it. They're sucking eggs. They're mm-hmm. sucking eggs is what they're doing. Oh, no. And Amanda hates eggs. I hate oh, eggs. That's true. So don't even say it. Don't even say the word eggs around her. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> eggs. <laughs> eggs. <laughs> eggs. <laughs> Scrambled Gross. eggs. They're the worst. Fried eggs. <laughs> what about deviled eggs? Still disgusting. Because that's just mustard. What about and egg yolk. salad? Oh my god, the worst. <laughs> I also hate. It's egg like salad. eggs and oh, mayonnaise. Egg salad. <laughs> egg eggs and, and mayonnaise egg. and mustard. <laughs> what about a chicken salad with mayonnaise? I will eat mayonnaise on some things. Like a BLT? Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm. Can't have a BLT without mayonnaise. No. It should be a BLMT. It gets no love. I know. That's rude. You don't want your bread dry with a sandwich like that. No. You don't want a dry piece of toast. (laughs) (laughs) Please. (laughs) And then I got to drink some water or milk. I don't want that. I don't want to have to do that. I want a lot of mayo on there. Like, Hey, speaking of food, did you bring in our hot pickles, Amanda? What? No, I, I, Amanda, I even said something. We need to tie today. something around your finger or something. So you I should tie like, like a stomach. pickle <laughs> 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 or a, a cheese dog. Uh, we need. Yeah. I'm gonna set an alarm right now to go off we, at like so three far. o'clock in the afternoon, and then I will remember. Oh, Maybe yeah. Be- Put them in your car at three in the no afternoon. No kidding. <laughs> hey, here's some hot, hot pickles. <laughs> or what Enjoy. about, I'll set it for like five minutes before I leave for work. Here's some E. coli pickles. Ew, mm. I'm, I love these. <laughs> I'm setting it for 3.20 in the morning. You couldn't get sick eating a pickle. Nothing could go wrong with a pickle. Nothing can ever go wrong because with a pickle. Because it's just, I mean, they're so pickled. They're like little gifts from God, really. What they are is little gifts <laughs> from God. I think they are. Pickles. Is it any fun to go to the beach by yourself after you've had kids and you see how much fun it is to have them around? I find it to be uh, the same. Okay. (laughs) Because when I'm at the beach with the kids, uh, they all play and they're doing their sand things. Right. And Kate and I just hang out on the towels and Mm -hmm. then we will go in the water if we need to. She never does. I will go in the water if I need to. Right. And then maybe play a little bit. But then I want to get back to the towel. You know what, what's at the towel? That's, that's where so the, great. The beer is at the towel. Oh, I've right. got chips and sandwiches, uh, and of course, by beer I mean uh, Fago Pop because <laughs> <laughs> you can't take beer to the beach. No. What am I talking about? You no. know what my dad used to do. What your dad used to do? <sighs> he was so funny. He used to. Um, he's an engineer, so let's think okay. about that first. Okay. He would cut. Oh my goodness. A can. Yeah. A pop can. Yeah. And wrap it around his beer. That's awesome. Brilliant. At the beach. At the state parks. And then they made, uh, they made, I remember my dad got Because they didn't have koozies back then. My dad got a plastic sheet mm-hmm. that was a Mountain Dew can lookalike. Okay. And it said Mountain Dow. And he would wrap that around <laughs> the beer can. Mountain Dow. At the state parks as well. And I, when he died, I went through the house looking for that thing. Oh, no. And I think they had thrown it away. But that, because they don't really sell them anymore because of, you know, uh, the the drunk driving and breaking the law. But he had that, 
and that came in so handy <laughs> all the time. Like, Just cut a pop can up. Cut a pop can. Here's what I do at the beach, and this is a little tip, okay, for beach drinking. Okay, <laughs> Be- illegal beach drinking. Illegal beach in West Michigan drinking tip. Right, and I'm not saying that you know you're having like a rager. I'm saying you have like two or three beers, a rager. and you're you're just hanging out at the beach. Okay, what do you do? Here's what I do. Mm. You reach into the cooler, you get your beer, mm-hmm. you take a napkin, and you just wrap it around <laughs> because. You're doing this because of all the sweating of the can. Right, right. So it needs, it's like a, uh, a coaster mm-hmm. for the sides of the can. Mm-hmm. So then I just have the napkin wrapped around it. Looks like I'm just drinking out of a napkin. <laughs> no one knows. Nobody, I'm sure, ever <laughs> no. even suspects. No one <laughs> even no. suspects. Drinking his napkin beverage. No. Right. And I only do that if the kids are there. Like yeah. if I'm there by myself or just with Katie, I'll drink the beer. I mean, what's the fine? Probably two or three hundred dollars. <laughs> and it's you go worth to jail. It. It's and they totally take your worth cup. it. It's worth You need the refreshment. <laughs> but I I will see people, like, I will see somebody just reach in and open it, and they're talking they so don't care. loud, and those kids will go by on their little uh, ATV, mm-hmm. and you're like, they didn't even look twice at the beer drinker. I don't think they care. No, because they're kids. Right. They're like, I'm just collecting a paycheck, hanging out on the beach all summer. All I'm doing is catching some rays, uh. and I'm not catching any drinkers at the beach. Mm-mm. My kids did ask uh, the last time we were at the beach if they could jump off that Grand Haven Pier. Did you say did, no? I did say no, but Good you remember job. the first time I went? Uh, so yes. Charlotte and I walk out to the pier, and there are like 100 people jumping off and diving and doing flips. Mm-hmm. And I say to Charlotte, you want to jump off the pier? She goes, yeah. So we both jump off. And then I come in here, and everybody's like, that's illegal. You should never do that. And dangerous sure. So there are a lot of signs up posted saying, don't do this. Right. So then Haley says, I want to go dive off the pier. And I'm like, no, it's illegal. You and Charlotte did it. I'm like, yeah, we did. Before we knew it was illegal. We didn't know we were lawbreakers at exactly. that point. Exactly. But now, I, you know, you, now you can't do it. Mm-hmm. Well, you're drinking a beer. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, and that lady has a dog. And I'm like, all right. So apparently the beach laws don't really matter. <laughs> Nobody enforces them. Right? You take your dog to the beach all the time. But part of the beach does allow dogs. There's a sign that says... The part way far away from the water. (laughs) No, no, no. It's by the the water. It's just a portion of the beach. Okay. There's like two signs, one on each end, where you can have the dogs in between them. Because I was at the Grand Haven State Park the other day, Mm -hmm. and there was a woman, and she had a dog right next to the sign that said no dogs. Like, right by it. She was probably 15 feet away from that sign Mm -hmm. with her blanket and her dog just running around chasing seagulls, bothering people, you know, ridiculous. I was with a friend of mine over our vacation and we definitely, she had her dog at the beach. See? And I took a picture of her next to the no dogs allowed sign. (laughs) Yes! What's with the her beach rules? and her dog and the no dogs allowed sign. Why don't we care about the beach laws? Mm, I mean, I care. Yeah, you care so much that instead of calling the police, you took a picture. <laughs> she is the police. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Well, that's me? why she's that's okay. Why- so every day uh, we start out our day on Facebook. It's uh, Connie and Curtis. You can search us out with a little, uh, hey, here's what we're going to be talking about. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> Connie slips in. Do you watch TV show Mistresses? Man, Dad made so much fun of me uh, for getting worked up during the finale. Uh, and Amanda is also mad about True Blood finale. So I said to Connie, what happened on Mistresses? Ridiculous. Because that's the show that I was watching last summer Mm -hmm. because they were hot. Um, right. But then the show was so just ridiculous to me that I could not stomach it. So it Yes, because Bachelor Pad is so much better than Mistress Ed. <laughs> yes. Or Penn and Teller yes. Or Penn and Teller Fool Which is on tonight at 8 o'clock. Be uh, ready for it. Penn and Teller Fool So here's the season finale was on Sunday, and Dan and I finally got a chance to watch it last night. Okay, so spoiler, if you haven't made it to the DVR I'm not even going to say. If you, if you saw it, you know probably, and you're a woman, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, Dan kept saying... Well, you need to send an email to the network. So every time something would happen with this couple where I did not want them to be together, Dan would chant, email, 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 email. And I would shoot him a look. And then I get in today and Amanda's like, oh my gosh, true blood. I'm writing HBO and asking for my money back for the last seven years. So here's the deal with uh, with mistresses. Okay, so Connie told me what happened in the finale. I think that that fits right along with the show. I mean, that's what it is all about, is yeah. people making ridiculous choices for love. The, the girl code was broken and the sister code. Is 
is all that, at one time. If you cast someone aside by cheating on them, and then they have a chance to, they say, hey, you've been in a coma for so long, choose me. And you say, no, I'm not choosing you. That's two times <laughs> she told him no. That's two times she told him no. <laughs> oh, so savvy she, is what you're talking about. So she about. said no to him twice. So the sister code is over. There's no, he's fair game. You go for that, sister girl. Code. Was she mad? And they're really cute together, so I was really torn because yeah. they are cute together. It they should, have a really cute friendship. That should be okay. If your it sister, is not okay! If your sister cheats on her husband <laughs> and then comes out of a coma and instead of going with him, goes with the guy that <laughs> she cheated with. <sighs> that's fair they're game. They're broken up now and she had a had a, an epiphany. And now ah, she wants him back, but I don't even want her with him no. anymore. But I don't want him with her sister. No, I do. You don't even watch. No, I know. Which one's her sister? Jocelyn, the hot yeah, one. Yeah, she's hot. They're all, <laughs> they're all smoking hot on they that are show. All hot. Every single one of those girls, you're like, Phew, so wow. Amanda, you're not the only person I saw on my newsfeed this morning. Everybody was hashtagging True Blood was the worst finale ever. That well, was. Now, was it the series finale? It was the series finale. Okay. Well, I, well, without spoiling it. Well, it was it was on. Why was it so bad? Not this past Sunday, but the Sunday before that. So it's already been like a week and a half. Then why since have I seen it aired? Everybody because people are still it. mad about it. Okay. Okay. Now, was it true to the books? No, they they went off the books even like season one. Okay. So nobody was expecting it to end like the books, and people were hoping it wasn't going to end like the books because people hated how the books ended too. Okay. So then the books didn't uh... end, and what happened? She chose Jacob, and uh, then she has little werewolf babies. No. <laughs> That and that's Sadly. not even the same thing. That's Twilight. Okay. But <laughs> <laughs> I wish she had little werewolf babies. <laughs> and no, 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 she doesn't even in Twilight. She doesn't choose the werewolf guy, oh, does she? Spoiler. No, she does not. She goes with uh, with the vampire. But okay. Thanks, thanks for ruining it for me. So how how much money have you spent in seven years? Is this the only reason you had HBO? Yes. For the show, and I've liked other shows. Wait, be- no, well, my parents and I said, I said, money. my parents, oh, that's <laughs> right. but I do pay for HBO now on my own. Okay, why? When did that happen? Hold when on. my parents stopped Wait, no. it. Wait, news. Wait, time out. Are you sure you're not in like some sort of get it free for three no, months? No, I am definitely paying for it. It's on your bill. It's on my bill. It says. Eight dollars HBO. It's fourteen dollars. Yes. Ooh. Does it come with something else? No. Like Cinemax? No. I like said cinnamon it rolls. Once. <laughs> I wish cinnamon rolls would that be rolls a little bit be better. Great. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you, you're you're paying now fourteen dollars a month for how many months? So you're not stealing it anymore. Well, Good I'm going to cancel it now. You're canceling it because you're sick of this. this I is a am. Travesty. That that to me, having to sit there and work through with my brain how terrible that finale was, <clears throat> just horrible. Here's my the favorite main thing. character. Has one person that she should have been with all along. Yeah. And at the end of the show, she's, spoiler, turn yeah. your radio down if you don't want to know. Wait, I can't. I don't have a knob. She doesn't end up with that person, <laughs> and she ends up with nobody that was either, ever even on the show I to begin have with. I don't a knob. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're never going to watch it. That's fine. I can't turn my Thank radio. Thank God you are a knob. I can't turn my radio down at all. Okay, Mr. Spoiler. You spoil everything. Here's the deal, though. Do you think that because that show is on HBO that they are able to just go? Go off the deep end. Like Sopranos. Remember how mad everybody was at the ending of the mm-hmm. Sopranos? But at least they kept with the storyline. Like this show just completely, like nothing makes sense. Like vampires aren't supposed to be outside during the day and then all of a sudden they're just like up all the time. They don't have to sleep during the day. Weren't just... they drinking some kind of juice or something though? No. Oh, I felt like there was some Special juice. daytime juice. Yeah, like, let's drink that day, day juice. It's like, mmm, <laughs> so good. What is that? Oh, it's blood. Ugh. <laughs> Because wasn't one of like a couple seasons ago they had the super hot vampire guy uh, sitting on a lounge chair outside, and that was like some big revelation. Like, look, he's outside; he can do it. Well, I don't want to give anything away. Yeah, well, that Curtis. happened years ago. <laughs> How do they get to go if, outside? Okay, well, the main it's it's like so long to get into, and I don't want to have to like explain no, we don't the, whole get show. Into the whole thing. It's but like one of the characters on the show, if they are also something supernatural. So if a vampire drinks their blood, it allows them to be out in, in the light. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> mystery explained. Okay. Carrie on our Facebook page agrees about mistresses. So you're getting your money back <laughs> from the HBO. Yeah, I want my money back. That was the worst ever. <sighs> the worst. Not, they're not going to give you your money I back. I know they're you not know going that, right? to, but I at least want them to have to did, deal have with to, my letter. Did you vent on Reddit? 
I have been looking at Reddit, but I've not written anything yet. I've been because, reading through all the comments of all the people that agree with me. And I'm, I was going to say, a lot of people do, because I yeah. know a lot of people I've seen on Facebook, and I don't even watch that show. Yeah. Blood by it. We all now are so just trained to think that our opinion matters with and everything. <laughs> it doesn't? No. What? It doesn't they at don't all. care. Oh. But we think that it does. And why? when did that start, that you write a letter? I've told you about my uh, my grandma-in-law. Is that a word? Is that a, a yeah. thing? Katie's grandma, when uh, she died, we found a whole closet filled with um, copied typewritten letters mm-hmm. that she had sent to every company that had ever made her angry. She would write letters. Uh, th- here's my favorite one. And it was always, uh, Dear Sir, uh-huh. is how everyone started out. Mm-hmm. Dear Sir, I am writing to you because the uh, ice cream inside the Blue Bunny ice cream package definitely did not have as many chunks as pictured in the picture on the front of it. Uh, (laughs) It claimed that it was a chocolate peanut, and it was definitely chocolate with little tiny bits of peanut. I would like my money back, please. Thank you very much. And then she put her name and address and everything. And Wouldn't that was you like it. to know how many of the th- free things she received? I would, because I'm sure that back in those days, she was able to get a lot because people were concerned. My grandparents still complain about things, and I know my grandma just told me she complained about ice cream herself, and they sent her two <laughs> coupons for free. Oh, yeah. When I was in high school, one of my classes, I don't remember which class it was, they made us write letters like that. To We had to pick a company okay. and write letters. That's uh, like Summer School, the movie Summer School. Ah. Mark Harmon, that's what they do. Uh-huh. Are you sure that you're not pretending that you no. were in the movie Summer School? No. One of my classmates <laughs> got a case of Bud Light that way. <laughs> a case of Bud Light? I don't Light. remember what he said the issue was. Did he say he was 18? <laughs> no, he wasn't even 18. I think we were juniors. He was probably like 16. So he wrote to Bud once. Yep. They sent him a case. They sent him a case of beer. What? And I wrote to some sunglass company. And I don't remember receiving any sunglasses. You are very much exactly like the movie Summer School right now. <laughs> <laughs> like I, feel, I swear. I feel like you watched the movie Summer School and then said, I'll write to a sunglass company like they wrote to no, a sunglass company. No, somebody, several people in the class got free things. Awesome. I didn't get anything for free. You got nothing for free. Oh. And that's why you've had to work so hard the rest of your life here. <laughs> it is because of that <laughs> one stupid letter. trying to get one free pair of sunglasses. I Dan has a friend yeah. who one time, he smokes, Dan's friend, okay. right? Okay. So one time um, he got into the habit of, of calling companies okay. and telling them things were wrong and getting free stuff. Okay. He even does it with airlines. And he called, um, who's the big tobacco company? Uh, RJR Reynolds. Whatever. Called, let's say he called them. <laughs> Philip Morris. Philip Morris. Okay. He told them. <laughs> I don't know. That he only got eight Packs of cigarettes in his carton of cigarettes. And how many comes in a carton? Ten. So that's impossible. They sent him a new carton. They sent him a whole new ten. A whole new ten. And he was lying? And he was lying. What? What a D-bag. Were you in the back going, he is lying! <laughs> he got I wasn't ten. there. I wasn't there. He got ten! I wasn't you there. You should have been yelling in the background. Can you believe that? You should write him a letter and tell on him. I should. <laughs> Dear Remember Philip that guy Morris. years ago that yeah. lied? I should. Yeah. You sent him a free, now you should send him a bill because he mm-hmm. lied and he got How that. did we get to that? Uh, you just From like telling, telling that story. <laughs> because writing letters to places that, that yeah, we don't like. Yeah, because you're going to write to HBO. Because you were in the right. movie Summer School and you think that that is what Maybe she felt. wrote the script for the movie Maybe Summer School. Maybe I did. Did you write the script for no, the movie Summer School? I wrote a letter complaining about my sunglasses and I never got any sunglasses. Do you remember how the letter went? I no. mean, maybe it was the Dear phrasing. Dear sir. I don't even remember who it was Who it was to. Maybe the phrasing was bad, though. Maybe. Like, maybe. Basics don't work at night. And that song that is playing on the radio it says I should wear them at night and they, they make it impossible to drive. Oh my god. Please send me a free I wear pair. my sunglasses. Exactly. Maybe you night. quoted the song and you drew little music notes in the note. Well Amanda, um we would like to post your complaint letter when you yeah. are done with it. I will. I will try to finish it Maybe up today. it'll go viral. Try to make it super like like just freaky. So, okay. that, so that they'll actually just be pay you. attention. Just, just be you. you. Right, exactly. <laughs> uh-huh. Because just a normal, hey, I was really disappointed with the way True Blood ended. They don't care. You need to put the exact amount of money that you have spent. Yes. So $14.95 times 
whatever. What, 84 yeah. months or whatever it is. Yeah. You need to put the exact amount of money to the penny that you want back. Makes but sense. This is going to be a thing like the IRS, though. Like where you tra- right off your car and they're like, you never drove to the store. And you're like, no, I only used it for work. Right. They're going to say, how many movies did you watch on HBO? How many other things have oh, you watched on HBO? Oh, they can go and look, too. So you and can't they can really look. lie. So right. You can't say that you just had it for True Blood. But that's that was my primary reason. Well, the only reason why I started You're paying honor. for it. <laughs> yeah, you should sue sue HBO. I should sue HBO. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Get everyone involved. Class action lawsuit. Of course, for all those years you were stealing the HBO Go from your parents, that probably won't. That'll come out. <laughs> That'll come out. In they court. can't. They won't know about that. How are they going to know? Because uh, we're going to send them audio of this yeah. conversation. <laughs>